it is so boring. Wait, let me drink some water. Wait, I just remember I have some coins. Let me put it in water and see if it sinks. So first, I will put my first coin and let's see. Wait, wait, what, what? It sank. How did it happen? Wait, let me put the second coin and I will flip it this time. Three, two, one. Huh? This is us. Wait, what is this happening? Please, someone explain me. So, if you are thinking that how this happens, then you have come to the right place. Hello everyone, this is Arjun and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Science Howlers. So today we are going to learn a very interesting topic. But if you want to learn it in a more detailed way and in a more precise way and you want to understand it fully, then you have to watch this video till the end. So without any further ado, let's start our today's video. <laughs> A single coin sinks and a heavy huge ship sails which is also made out of steel. So first of all you must understand this term which is Archimedes principle. So you would be thinking what is Archimedes principle. So let us go a little back in history. So there was a person known as Archimedes. One day when he was having his bath in his bathtub, he just jumped in his bathtub and he realized the overflow of water was because of one type or some type of science. So he uh, just take in the topic and researched about it and then he came with the Archimedes principle. So the Archimedes principle says, a body immersed in a fluid is subjected to an upward force equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. So here we can take a body as a object which has weight, which is when immersed fully or partially, it experiences an upward force, which in scientific form is known as buoyant force. This force is equal to the weight of the displaced liquid. So now let us uh, see a video by Manocha Academy for more clear understanding in which he is showing some experiments. So let us see. So first he takes a big beaker and a small beaker. In the big beaker he has water filled in it and when he puts that object into the big beaker you would be able to see that the water which is being displaced by the object is going to the second beaker and after some time we will be able to see that this water will stop which is at 200 now when he will measure it he will find that the weight of the water displaced is equal to the buoyant force so now he is going to measure and uh, at down you would be able to see the scale and now uh, the total weight is equal to 200 grams. So now friends we have got one unit which is 200 grams. Now we must prove that the buoyant force is equal to the water which has been displaced. So, first of all, we have to weight the uh, weightage of that object when it is in air and the weight of that particular object when it is in the water and when we will subtract it, we will get the answer. Uh, for example, here the uh, weightage of water which had been displaced was 200 grams. So, if we perform this activity of subtracting the weight of the object in the air and the weight of the uh, object in water we will also get 200 grams so hence it is proven that the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced water now let us jump straight into the main topic now uh, what happens this all thing is basically uh, because of density so friends first you must know what is really density density is basically the volume of any material for example the volume of water is 1000 kilograms per meter cube and it is very much denser that's why anything lighter and uh, less denser than water is 
dropped in water it floats and anything that is denser than water it sinks for example a coin then you must have a doubt in your mind that the steel is more denser than water then how big ships which are made out of steel are able to float so let's learn about it the ship is also made out of steel so the density of the ship would be also greater than water here one more thing applies that in be, uh, these big ships there are vessel compartments which are occupied by air so it makes it more less denser uh, uh, also friends not only the buoyant force which apply, uh, which is an upward force here also applied the gravitational force because there is air in it hence when the both uh, forces meet it makes the ship float so friends this was the end of the video if you like our video please like it share it and do subscribe it and hit the bell icon and you can also follow us on instagram and facebook link to it is in the description bye bye friends take care of yourself